Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students. How are you? I hope you will be enjoying the best of all. I welcome you in my class that is in English for grade 4 and we are learning unit number 16 and its title is Self-Discipline. So yes my dear teachers this lesson plan, powerpoint presentation and worksheet links are given below. You may click it, download it or you can adjust it for your ease. I am going to deliver my lecture according to this lesson plan. So our today's lecture, lecture number three, we will learn about comprehension skills that how we can get pre-reading and through comprehension. Before in English for grade four, we have already learned to how we can locate and scan specific information from the text. In unit number 13, we have covered up our this SLO, my dear students. I hope you remember it. If you may not, so you can watch this video lecture again. So our today's student learning outcome is locate specific information in a calendar and a class timetable. So yes, my dear teachers and my dear students, this SLO is specially related to you that how you can get specific information in calendar and class timetable. So today we are going to clear up that. So yes, my dear teachers and my dear students, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in Al-Quran, say if the whole of the mankind and jinns gathered together to make out a book like this holy quran they could not do it even so yes what is this beautiful verse is telling this beautiful verse is telling us about the importance of al quran the book of allah that allah almighty is giving challenge that if the whole mankind even jinn even whole mankind person they may gather together to create a such a simple word simple a small verse of such that in the holy quran if they are able to create they will not even do it okay they will not be able because this holy book is sent by allah almighty and allah almighty is also protecting this book okay so even till this time there is no change in this book because Allah Almighty is protecting this holy book okay so this is a great challenge for whole mankind that they are not able to even create a single word even okay so let's there are pre-reading question first of all we are going to refresh our knowledge my dear students do you keep your books on shelves properly so yes it's totally for you how you keep your books on shelves next question is there what does your mother do for buying weekly or monthly groceries okay if your mother is buying weekly or monthly groceries so what she do pause the video and answer this question from you to your teacher Excellent job my dear students. I hope because these are the daily routines that we are performing at daily basis. Okay. So let's see we are going to start our next unit. Unit number 16. Page number 124. Our title is self-discipline. So you have to open first paragraph my dear students. A disciplined person is one whose lifestyle is systematic and organized. Such a person keeps his her room clean and his her desk neat and he she finishes all his her tasks in time. Keeping your belongings in order is not a difficult task. When children grow they should be made responsible for taking care of their own. So yes my dear teachers and my dear students this beautiful paragraph is giving information okay it's the these informations are just for you my dear students related to you that how what is a disciplined person first is that a disciplined person whose lifestyle is systematic and organized and how we can organize our lifestyle even in your age where uh, even when we are a children okay in our childhood so how we can organize so our belongings so you can see your belonging belongings mean personal things those are related to us okay these things are such things are called belongings and which are these things for you my dear students definitely your books notebooks okay your bag your uniform shoes 
socks such type of things are your personal belongings so how you keep them so this is called and this is the uh, quality of a systematic and organized person okay so this is a question for you who is a disciplined person yes who is a disciplined person respond to your teacher good job i hope now you have got that who is a disciplined person who organize everything properly okay so next is there you should know to keep your things in order this will make you responsible in school and at home the most common items you can start with are your clothes socks towels shoes cups and water bottles so these things are your personal belongings my dear students that we were already discussing that what are personal belongings so these all things are personal belongings what are clothes socks towels shoes cups and water bottles that we are using every day and these are our personal belongings and how we keep them okay so we have to keep them in proper places so there is a question for you how do you settle your daily routine so how do you settle your daily routine especially in regarding to your personal belongings okay so response this uh, question to your teacher my dear students good job definitely we manage our daily routines by making time tables good so we can make a time table to settle our daily routine good job my dear students so let's see next you can use a checklist method write as three things to do before going to bed or what to do on sunday making and referring to lists together will develop your ability to plan tasks and manage your time so yes planning this paragraph is telling us about planning my dear students that how we can plan our week how and which time and when we are going to do that okay if we want to perform anything even what we are going to perform on which time and how much time it will take we will consume so in this way we can make our checklist method so this type is called checklist method and we can write that how we will do if suppose how we are going to sp spend our sunday sunday is a weekend so how we are going to spend in this way we can plan our task and we can manage our time because if we will not take care of time so we will lose okay checklist there is a word a list of things to do checklist mean a list of things that we have to do okay so we can prepare a list there that i will do at this time so in this way our work will be completed and also we can manage our time have you got my dear students good job there while reading question is there for you why should we use the checklist method why what's its importance my dear students pause the video my dear teacher and get answer from your students good job so why should we use the checklist method yes it in this way we can organize our whole work and also we can save our time okay and what is checklist method my dear students we can organize according to calendar and according to our timetables so yes a mother does household works all the time she cooks food washes clothes takes care of her children if you spare your mother by taking care of your belongings she will love you more yes so all whole day mother is doing work at home my dear students you are at school and when you go from school going back from uh, to home so your everything is your lunch is ready your all clothes are ready your room is settled so mother is busy your whole day so if you will take care of your belongings not no need to that you have to do if you will do other things other household work with your mother so it's so best if you don't have time so just take care of your belongings that things those things are related to you so just take care of that and manage them properly so definitely it will be a sport to your mother okay so have you got that how you can take care of your own things so promise to your teacher that from today how you will manage you will keep your things 
properly on shelves okay everything you will you will settle everything that is yourself belongs to you okay promise good there's belongings there's words possession means you are owner of these things okay so this thing is called belongings there is a, another question what does personal belongings mean for a child especially for you so what are personal belongings good good i hope now you have got that what are your personal belongings good job my dear students i hope now you have got it now we are moving to perform an activity related this so what is this activity yes my dear teachers say to students to read the first paragraph of the text silently share your opinion about the paragraph one by one in front of class engage whole class in this activity so this is activity for you my dear teacher perform this activity in your class and get information that what students have read about timetable and calendar that how they can manage their time okay discuss it in your class pause the video and perform this activity in your class welcome back and excellent job now i you have got i hope you have got that how we can manage our time through timetables good job so next is personal and individual activity is there question number one answer these questions there is a comprehension questions so perform this activity in your class and in your notebook under the supervision of your teacher perform these questions write these questions in your notebook my dear students good job and excellent job there but not too much work okay just two questions were there good job so what we have uh, done today and what's our homework for today write your own timetable in your notebooks yes what you will do you will manage your own timetable that how you spend your day at school and at home so you will write that timetable in your notebook and next day you will share it with your friends in front of class okay so yes my dear teachers this is worksheet this worksheet link is given below you should click it and provide it to your students in printed form so that they might be able to see how we can manage our timetable so there is timetable my dear students complete form format is there okay a study timetable from monday to wednesday how we can make okay so you can follow this timetable to reinforcement so what we have learned today today we learned about how we can locate specific information in a calendar and class timetable we learned that how can we organize ourselves and in this way we cover up our slo locate specific information in a calendar and a class timetable so how we can make our class timetable so this was our slo and we got that how we can manage our time we can manage our things personal belongings easily and properly i hope now you have got this lecture and also you got a way that how we can help our mothers personally that when we are going to save our things properly okay so today's lecture was is completed my dear students i hope you enjoyed it you got knowledge suppose and tomorrow with a new lecture see you soon inshallah till that thank you so much allah hafiz